In 2019, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to the material scientists who invented the lithium-ion battery, a piece of technology that has defined the modern world. In celebration of this achievement, we would like to show you how lithium-ion batteries are made. The battery is composed of the cathode, electrolyte, separator, anode, and the casing. The cathode is synthesized using a method called co-precipitation. The precipitate is filtered, dried, and heated with a lithium source in an oxygen furnace, resulting in the final active material. Next, the material needs to be turned into an electrode. A slurry is made by mixing the active material with carbon, a binder, and a solvent inside a slurry mixer. The slurry is then poured into a current collector and cast into a thin film of a specific thickness using a doctor blade, and it's then dried in a vacuum oven. In industry, all these steps are done on a larger scale. For instance, here we see the same process being used to instead make anodes. They are processed in bulk by using a roller which simultaneously casts and dries the electrode. Once they are dry, the cathodes and anodes are punched into discs then calendared to a desired packing density. They are then transferred into an argon-filled glove box to avoid the electrodes and electrolyte from reacting with moisture and oxygen from the air. They are then assembled into a battery. The cathode and the anode are carefully layered on top of each other, separated by a liquid electrolyte, which helps the passage of charge carriers, and the polymer separator, which prevents the battery from shorting and catching fire. These parts are all sealed together, and then we have a working battery. Lithium-ion batteries have become a key part of everyday life. They are very light and have a high power-to-weight ratio. In fact, it can store about six times more energy than a typical lead-acid battery, making them light enough for you to carry in your pocket. And material science and engineering made it all possible.